Hey everybody, Andres here. And this is James. About a week ago, we asked you guys for your answers to the question, which character from the Mario universe deserves their own game? But more than that, we asked you guys to get creative and share with us your ideas for what their games could actually look like. And boy did you guys deliver. We received about 500 comments from you guys, and let me tell you, it was really difficult to choose a winner. But we somehow managed to boil it down to our five favorites. There were a buttload of game ideas for the same character, so we ultimately chose the ones we believed were most creative and true to the character. There are, of course, certain Mario characters characters that we were dying to see star in their own game. However, I like to point out that the choices are actually non-biased, and we truly made our decisions not based on the character themselves, but on the inventiveness of your game ideas. Be sure to stay tuned for the 15 honorable mentions. But for now, here's our top 5 picks. We actually received a handful of submissions for Professor E. Gad, and several of them were very good, but the one that landed on top was the incredibly detailed response from Synvex. Mr. Elvin Gad is a goofy little inventor who happens to be the mind behind many gadgets seen in the Mario games, including Flood from Super Mario Sunshine. Synvex took inspiration from E. Gad's wild creations and adventurous spirit and thought up a game for the inventor entitled Professor E. Gad's Time Quest. Gamers play as E. Gad himself, traveling back in time to stop King Boo from conquering the Mushroom Kingdom. Kingdom. Synvex suggests that the player would find an ally in Bowser Jr., willing to help only because he believes his father should be the one to steal the throne. This provides a possible explanation for how he winds up with a magic paintbrush, a gift from the professor at the end of this game. Synvex describes the game as being similar in nature to the 3D style of other solo Mario games. Along the way, Egad uses a plethora of his inventions, some familiar and some new, which would make for some very fun gameplay. More creations of his would be found as the game builds toward the final showdown, and upgrades would be possible as well. The professor's ingenuity would allow for some fresh gameplay, a better understanding of who Egad is, and an awesome look at more familiar Mario characters in their younger forms, since the game would largely take place in the past. Synvex's idea was very imaginative, and would prove to be an awesome game for an underappreciated Mario character. <laughs> Longtime fans of Super Mario RPG have been dying to see Geno again, either as a part of the Super Smash Bros. roster or a more significant appearance in another Mario game. But for one reason or another, it doesn't seem realistic that this legendary character will resurface anytime soon. Negi, however, shares with us what his future could look like with his very own game entitled Geno, Guardian of the Stars. Negi's creative idea begins with the Guardian who inhabited Geno, at home among the stars. A new powerful threat with an army of minions soon travels throughout the galaxy, capturing other guardians guardians and stealing their star power. Upon hearing of this evil, Gino decides to make it his mission to rescue his fellow guardians and defeat the mighty entity. Negi explains that because Gino was simply the wooden doll that a star being resided in, this opens the door for a variety of possibilities for the player. While Gino could be the main playable form for nostalgic purposes, the player would have the chance to inhabit various bodies and weapons depending on which world they visit. And to repay Gino for his help in the past, the game could also bring back the likes of Mallow, as well as perhaps another chance for Mario and Bowser to work Work together. This epic game would certainly do this celebrated character justice. Perhaps one day the minds behind the original could put as much care into Gino's future as Negi did. Before anyone freaks out, I know Ashley is a bit of a stretch when it comes to a character from the Mario universe. But one, Wario is very much a part of it. Two, Ashley frequently appears in the WarioWare series. And three, Monkey Man's idea, like the character of Ashley herself, was too interesting to pass up. Ashley in Red, A Wicked Adventure, is Monkey Man's imagined game, and would take players on a journey into the monster world that Ashley so desires to visit in the Wii U exclusive Game & Wario. Upon arriving in this world, the young witch, along with her shape-shifting imp slash loyal friend Red, realizes this world is much more dangerous than she had thought. As much as she would love to stay, Ashley realizes she and Red must escape if they wish to stay alive. Players would take control of Ashley, with Red transforming into her wand, broomstick, and other items, in a platformer that sees the duo taking down monsters, increasing in magic skill, and upgrading a variety of spells along the way. Ashley's one-of-a-kind personality, as well as her comical relationship with Red, would please old fans and gain new ones for sure. I may not know much about this character, but Monkey Man has made me a believer that a solo game for this young witch would absolutely be worth my time. The 
number two place belongs to a creature that probably would rather stay out of the spotlight. Awkward Angel gives us the lowdown on what a game could look like if it revolved around Shy Guy. Shy Guy's usual business is acting as a common baddie posing as a minion for whatever villain may need him. But in this game, Shy Guy is the one who's been pressured into a situation where he has to make a heroic decision. Awkward Angel takes us through the plot. In a village where many of the baddies from the Mario universe reside, a villain known as Fearlo storms in, and instead of politely asking if anyone would like to help him in his evil endeavors, because I'm sure that's what the rest of Mario's antagonists do when they need assistance, he captures many of the village citizens by force. Shy Guy is gonna have to muscle up some courage and go on a search for his beloved family. Awkward Angel goes on to explain that the game would play as a side-scrolling game. The type where you're not only headed toward the end of each level, but you're also looking out for secrets and hidden goods throughout the stage, perhaps clues that could aid you in your search for your friends. And instead of having a protagonist whose only ability is to stomp on the heads of its enemies, Shy Guy is ready with the use of his spear, punch attacks, the ability to double jump, and fly using a propeller when possible. All these abilities are things we have seen from Shy Guy in previous games. Awkward Angel also wanted to include a multiplayer mode. Your friends can help you along the way and choose characters such as Boo, Bandit, or Ninji, all coming with their own special abilities. For a game that could bring the shy creature out of his comfort zone, this could be a clever and fun way to do it. I would love to see different courses in a game such as this created to suit the unique abilities that Shy Guy possesses. Who do you think of when you picture your favorite character starring in their own game? Not Nabbit. And yet, Shaw gifted us with an idea for a game that sounds like a ton of fun. He chose a character not many would have thought about, and created a completely fleshed out, hypothetical game that stays true to this mysterious purple rabbit. Shog calls his game Beware, the legendary thief Nabbit. In this game, Nabbit the rabbit decides he wants a taste of the good life. The players would control Nabbit and journey through different locations and castles throughout the Mario universe. The object of the game is to collect as many valuables as possible, some worth more than others, and some more difficult to get your hands on. The amount of riches you've collected by the end of the game would directly influence the game's ending. Now here's the really fun part. Since Nabbit is a thief, much of the game would be based on stealth. Players would navigate through each level, careful not to be caught by more well-known Mario characters. If Nabbit makes too much noise or leaves evidence behind, he has the option of hiding from his enemies. In vases, behind a bookcase, in a desk, behind curtains. It might look pretty comical, but that would definitely be part of the fun. Moreover, since Nabbit isn't much of a fighter himself, what he can defend himself with is traps. Shog explains that players would have the ability to set different traps around each level to knock out, distract, or capture opponents for some time. The Mario universe doesn't have too many stealth based games, and the imagined game Shaw gives us sounds like an incredibly creative way to approach one that stays true to the plumber's world and shines a light on a lesser known character who's clearly got a lot of potential. Congratulations to the top 5 winners. Now here are the top 15 honorable mentions. Hi guys, real quick, I just wanted to apologize for how long it took to get this video out. Um, James and I have been pretty busy with other things outside of YouTube, so it's been a little difficult releasing content at a steady pace. But YouTube is definitely still a priority for us, and it will be for a long time. So thank you everybody who took part in the contest, and thank you everybody for your patience, because we really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Ericsson Gaming for more contests, tournaments, discussions, playthroughs, and much more video game content. Thank you for your continued support, everybody, and again, thanks for watching.